that's blocked, doesn't lead out. I think I've explored almost the whole sewers anyway. I wonder if there are any more fiends. Oh, oh look. It's fucking NCR troopers. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I found a way out. Straight to Camp McCarran. There's some good quest good questing to be done here. Fuck yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a trader. Oh no, I can't trade with him. That fucking sucks. Okay. Well, there's someone to trade with in here anyway. Woo! I think there is at least. Oh, shit. Camp McCarran. I was thinking I was at the Crimson Caravan Company. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, there is a quest here from this guy. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news... Better involve some dead fiends. You having trouble with the fiends? Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I've got three fiends I want dead. And I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Might be. Give me their names. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast, and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. And I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them. You're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? You gotta choose, man. Violet. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother. They never leave her side. Where could I find her? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. Anything else I need to know? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people Double will be text, doubting, classic. and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Sorry about that. Something a little urgent. Um, yes. So now we have a bounty on Violet. Whose dog brain we will use to fix Rex. Also, fuck the NCR. I'm stealing from them. They could suck my fucking dick. Okay. Do I have Camp McCarran discovered? Not Camp McCarran, fuck. Crimson Caravan Company. Crimson Caravan, Crimson Caravan. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh, Boone was fighting. Whoopsie daisy. Here we are. <sighs> Here he comes. Ringo. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Spring. Only 150 bottle caps. So what's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any reference to there. the Honest Hearts DLC. So it'll be up to me to get things started. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. 
Um, goodbye. See you around. Keep me out of this. Uh, they followed me in. That is funny. Oh, it's Rex. Evening. Long time no see, Rex. Why is everybody? Oh, let's trade Blake. If you're looking to buy or sell, show me what you got for sale. First of all, I am fucking loaded, and I didn't cheat, and I haven't stolen very much. Now, I've stolen, just not very much. So let's sell. We don't need I or that. Oh, I'll repair that. Right, I don't even need the cowboy repeater at all. Don't need the pulse rifle, pulse grenade, or the uh, plasma rifle, that is. Uh... Don't need flamer fuel. Vision battery, empty syringe, laser rifle, focus optics. Free war money. Oh shit, I've already surpassed how many fucking caps he has. Take a stim pack, I guess, and a right away. And also your magazines. And pistol powder. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you. Now watch this drive. Who is detecting me? If anyone has the audacity to detect me, they will be eliminated. Did nobody see me steal? Who's detecting me? Oh, it's the Brahmin. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't capable of one hitting a fucking Brahmin. All right. <laughs> Ooh, 15 hours of playtime. That's pretty wild. You know, it's pretty wild. I tried again because I thought, you know, that's probably possible. And uh, it fucking wasn't. Easy, uh, very easy locks. I have a 100% chance of just forcing them open on the first try. Pretty much anything that has an 80% chance or above is fine. And crack that bad boy open. See if I can make it. Ooh, broke the lock. What is that? Scrap metal. Ooh. And a skill book. Oh no, not not a skill book. I never even went to the uh, the place where I thought I would find the charisma skill book or the the speech skill book. <laughs> Let's get back on our original quest. I'll just turn in this quest to Crandon. Crandon. I don't let my homie Crandon know that I eliminated the scum in the sewers. Hey Crando. Talk to you a second for talk to you for a second, Bubby. Have you run off those greasers? Yes, sir. 
I gotta make sure this place doesn't eat itself from the inside. You know, this time I may actually need a gun with a brain. Talk to Mrs. Hostetler. She's near the Crimson Caravan. I think her daughter's making bad friends, the kind that'll slit your throat in the dark. Okay. So I'm looking for Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch, I think is the name of it. Oopsie. Is my custom marker gone? No. Oh, there we go. Back to the old walking simulator. Happens. Oh, it's a sewer hole. I don't recall if you could actually go in any of these buildings. That's what sucks about these old games. Yeah, no, you can't. Like, you know, you just intuitively are like, oh, I'll go explore that building, and you come close. Oh, can't go inside it. A little dilapidated shack action. Oh, did I miss discovering a location over here? Get the XP, and then it's just, you know, you always want to have as many locations discovered as possible, because you could just go there whenever you feel like it. Oh, yeah, H&H &H tools. Which we'll loot, we'll loot after we get to Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch, maybe to Jacob's Dome. Is this fiend territory? Guess not. Or is it the thorn? That's something I do not do very often. <laughs> Let's see. Can you go into this shack? Yeah. Oh yeah, these these guys. Hello, Sammy Wins. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Who are you? Me? I'm Sammy of Sammy and Pauline. The Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal duo. You better not mess with us or you'll end up face down in a shallow grave. You sound pretty tough. Wonder why I've never heard of you. Simple. Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. But that's going to change with our next score. You just wait and see. So what's your plan? You'll have to ask Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. Hey, Pauline. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. Who are you? I'm Pauline, of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with us, or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. You sound pretty tough. Why haven't I heard of you two before? We ain't never heard of you either, so the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though? And everyone will have heard of Sammy and Pauline. Just you wait. What's your plan? Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance? Of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. We'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize the wastelands. Your plan is going to get you both killed. You'll see. You'll feel stupid that you made fun of us when you learn how rich we are. <laughs> That's the greatest plan I've ever heard in my entire life. Really? You think so? We've only got the one gun and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. We've never been on the strip either. So we don't know how many guards the casinos have. And I kept having these nightmares. What are we thinking? We're going to get ourselves killed. Look, tell Sammy to give you the gun, all right? Just take it. I don't want it around tempting us to do something stupid. This better be good, stranger. Pauline says, give me the gun. Really? Oh, thank God. I love that woman, but I swear this time she was going to get us killed. The gun's in the safe. The combination's 5, 23, 34. Take it far away from here before she changes her mind. 
Fucking Vicky and Vance's gun, dude. He had a bunch of free shit. And a free bed. 